Get around. You can see there the flags. Uh, they've stiffened up uh, throughout the evening. The wind is uh, favouring right at screen. And uh, that man needs to keep his feet a little bit more. Hayden Ballantyne, his uh, screw-ins or his stops have failed him a couple of times. Second half underway. Sandilands against Paddy Ryder. Going nowhere. Both teams have held the lead a couple of times. See soaring contest. Port Adelaide at one stage by 14 points. And Fremantle by 10 points. Port Adelaide right now by two. Good attack from Maine. Got it to Mundy. Hit oh, it well. Oh, yeah. And he's off. Wingard. Ebert's his target. And Corns is going with him. The one-two is on. Works to perfection. Can he get hey. to the pocket to need? That's how they play. Three play-ons in a row. Started Back with here. Pittard, automatic play-on. Out to Wingard, automatic play-on. To Ebert, automatic play-on. And this is the result. Two Everyone minutes. just reads the quick movement. Thank you, Mark's here. Already kicked one. Stay Jake on Need. Right. Get some advice Stay. in the background. Not sure he'll take all of it. Oh, he goes for the centering kick. West off! Now that is a centering kick. That is a great kick because he knew the man was going to be there. It wasn't a kick and hope. We've seen a lot of it over this first round of uh, 2015, and most of it's been ineffective. This guy was there. He just honoured a lead in many ways. And sat it on an opponent's head. So from directly out, the ideal start, and he's missed. Almost worth a goal for Fremantle, that miss. Johnson. Took on need. Kicks to Sandlands. Tight thrown out of it. We saw a two-goal turnaround in Port Adelaide's favour in the second term. And Fremantle banked the most of Port Adelaide's miss there. Short to Barlow. Havlitz down the line. Doesn't go for it. Main does. Good spoil. A little bit of Jonas's ear and a lot of Sharon. Better lift out of Chris Main. We know he's uh, built his career on defensive elements, but he's also a really good shot at goals. Got to get the ball in his hands. He didn't kick a lot of goals last year. Just 13 goals playing further upfield, but he's resting forward at the moment. Gee, throw it in too short. You don't hear that called very often. It's not How do you decide wins. whether to bring it back or not? You also saw the ball bend in the wind. It is uh, starting to really blow out there, obviously, Kingy. There's a bit happening down here. There's a swirling breeze, Jared. It's, it's an awkward breeze to read at this stage. I don't think it's favouring either end in this third term. Five got it from Sheridan. Barlow. Havich is inside 50. Johnson sees the lead. It's from Hill instead. Goes central and Jonas cuts it off. It's still killing him. That kick inside forward 50 has killed them today. Olek got there for Pittard's kick. And again, they take it on down the middle. Wines, turns and goes. Carlisle gets and goes. Pittard's on the run. They spread wide. Ebert and Fife. Fife almost marked it. Ebert kept his feet. Stolen on back. Spur, Johnson. Fremantle's ball. Free kick for too high to spur, and that is almost 50. Crowd wanted it. Good decision from the umpire. Could have got sucked in, but Jake Need wasn't, didn't do it deliberately. Spur runs half back, pumps a long bomb. Paddy Ryder up, one hand, couldn't collect it. Well, just the advice a little bit, a little bit early on, Jakey Need. There's a man in the background. He's teach him young here on how to give a spray. They do. <laughs> Just a little bit of a lesson on the local language. Yes. Interesting hold of the ball as well. That young kid's first word's going to be Miss <laughs> Duffield to Fife. Chewy on your boot. <laughs> Pavlich inside 50. Couldn't get there for the mark attempt. Gets there for the bounce. Sees the options. Daniel Pierce. Well and truly within range. Brilliant play from Pavlich. He was three deep. He forced his way inside the contest and 
didn't go for the instantaneous handball that's killing a number of Port a sorry Fremantle attacking moves. He went with a kick and uh, put some pressure on Daniel Pierce to do what he did in the second term, kick a goal. The first goal of the second half for the lead back for Fremantle. From the paint, left foot kick is superb. They get back the lead, Jono. This time it was the reverse of that second term. Westhoff missed one at that end of the ground, and uh, very quickly the Dockers go forward and magnificently set up by the skipper. Pierce doesn't let him down. Yeah, great team goal here, Jared. And I loved Pierce's composure with his set shot. He was strong with his routine, came through the footy from 50, and that's what I like. He likes kicking, having shots from this far out, 50 out, where he can come through the ball with some good momentum. I reckon he'd be getting a nice old pump off from the coach. Ryder into Sandlin. Sandlin's with a flick back. Just missed Fife. Boke. Hands and knees are shuffled out, and Jonas picked their pocket. Polek through the traffic. Winds. Squeezes it wide. Everton should get there. Boke tracks him down. Duffield. Johnson. Barlow. He missed him with the pass again. Carlisle, the Polek, the one-two doesn't work. The one-two-three almost does. Robbie Gray. Ebert. Had Butcher on, gave it to Wines, back to Ebert. Goes for goal. And across the face. Straight down the middle. Ibbotson. Spur, Neal, Sandlins, Ryder with him, got a palm on it, knocked it down, Fife about to pounce, to Hill, Carlisle knew he was going to get it, Ballantyne slick hands, Fife got it from Neal, gave it to Spur, gives it to Duffield, heads wide, Clark. Better team play, we mentioned the last goal was on the back, a good team play, good set up here again. They've raised their level, Subin, played for the free, didn't suck it. Jonas just takes that to the line. Lockie Neal was the other one you're asking for. A lift from Jared. Now up to the 13 disposals. Yeah, there's a bit of grappling there yeah. with the umpire. Uh, perhaps the fact that he went to ground gave the umpire reason not to blow the whistle. Sandlin's front spot. Corns. Polek. Arms freak. Just shrugged it high. Starting to have an impact now, Aaron Sandlands. He's starting to have an impact with his physicality. He's, he's starting to bully a couple out of them at the moment. They need him to get be a physical presence in that forward 50. Shorts worked hard to get to half back as the lead up player, and now they're out. Impey can get and run. He's got we'll a couple of one on ones, or he can go for goal. Took on Tancy Pierce. Caught. Plenty of time. Too much time. You get less time this year. If you're going to bounce the ball, you've got to make sure it comes straight yes. back. <laughs> Barlow says, let's settle it down for a second, boys. Now he sees Mundy. And they've got the two-on-one, the overlap. Johnson on the charge. It's a Sutcliffe to Johnson. Gets past Broadbent. Heads wide. Neil to Subin. Couldn't hit his target. Neil again. Bounce pass to Main. Taken out. Could have done better there. Great chase by Clancy Pierce. That's that the sort of stuff that, that lifts your teammates. Impey looked at him, was going to take him on. If the bounce come back, maybe he did. But great pressure to build there from behind. Run down tackle. Mundy just couldn't break free. Oh, that's a throw. Oh. Crowd saw it. Everyone saw it. Umpires didn't see it. Well, he was under pressure, but from this distance, it didn't look like he, he got a clean getaway. Fremantle by two. Fife is the main target, deep in the square. 
Wines. Wines. Off a of body, out of play. But only temporarily because now he leaves that to Pavlic and he's uh, coming up to the contest. Trangove and Clark. Polak, third man up. Well. Polak gets it out. Corns didn't look 15. Westhoff got one to the ear. Umpire had him out there. He called it high, didn't call it a mark. Spur. A couple of good grabs this afternoon. Lee Spur, they're critical in today's game. Intercept marks defensively. Really does set the side up. Valentine wide to five. Saw someone yesterday take to an enormous level in round one, Jeremy McGovern. How good was he? Incredible. Moving on. Play on. Player down behind. Play for Fremantle. It's Maine. On his hands and knees. We'll keep an eye on it. He's just gone down. Valentine's just put both down. It's on behind play. We'll keep an eye on that. On the back edge of the centre square. They've targeted both today. There's no doubt about that. He's the man in the gun. Every time he walks past a Fremantle player, there's physicality, and that's that's what these big games are all about. Clancy Pierce for the job, not Ryan Crowley, of course. Westhoff doing some ruck work. Front spot on Clark. Daniel Pierce has kicked a couple. Duffield to half forward. Walters jumped early. Pittard. Broadbent. Stolen. Walters. Well, he had the handball option. He didn't want anything but the goals. And they celebrated a little too early. It's a couple this afternoon from Walters. One in the first quarter where he had a handball opportunity. This one here. He's going. Oh. He's off. He's celebrating. Set up the zone. That's a little embarrassing. <laughs> West off. <laughs> and 50. And 50. Just a fill the 50. They are so close at the moment, getting it, the machine going and humming Frio, but it's it's just every time they look as if they're about to get on a roll, a couple of mistakes just creep in. There's a 50-metre penalty. allows Port to get out of the zone. Well on top at half-back, though, at the moment. Intercept mark across half-back has been their strength all day today. Wines. Hold out. Play on. You sense both teams have another level to go to. As good as this has been, out of play, ball in. It's been good today, Monday. Schultz just having a word to Wines as well downfield. Got it in a good central position. Went really wide to Robbie Gray, where they had a good line set up as forwards, waiting for... Wines to go forward with the ball rather than wide. Duffy has just sprinted to get down in amongst it to give that extra defender that Frio loved. Five ripped it out of the air, gave it to Spur, and just lands fortuitously on the line. Ball in. So here's the big advantage. They got the double jumper. They got Shandlands and Zach Clark. He's running away from it, so he won't be coming up over the top. But Mundy can. Five obviously can. They shouldn't need to with uh, the big reach of Sandlands. He should be able to plonk it where he needs it. Both got a piece of it. West off and Sandlands. Port with the clearance. Wines to Boak. Nudge to the back. That was good. Boak looked up. Thought he might deserve a free there for the nudge. And there's the turnover. Broadbent. Nice collect. Gives it to Carlisle on the run. Squeezes the oh, kick outside of the boot. Crunch. Right of cart mark. Good spoil again. Spur got back. Right of hands and knees to Butcher. To Wingard, to goal, and Port Adelaide back in front. Well, they're preying on every mistake that Fremantle make, and they're giving them plenty of opportunities at the moment. Alan Another Paddy. intercepted kick. Paddy Ryder was a little bit stiff not to get a free kick, <laughs> but uh, the kick inside into the corridor it just came off the shin. Great second ever from Ryder after copying the whack in the marking contest. They said numbers around it. What about the trick kick there from Malapati? Carlisle saw right around the corner of his eye. He's spot on, John. I almost saw him after he dropped yeah. the ball and adjusted his leg for the outside of the boot kick. Fife. A mongrel, though. Hodge beelined it. Caught. Breaks free. Gets a handball away. Boke. 
Robbie Gray. Ebert leads. And now they run. Pitta. Straight down the middle. Overcooked it a little to Wines. McFarlane. Caught. Grubbers won. Matty White. Squares it up to Wines. Little stumble. Took the mark. Port Adelaide. Goes back to Travis Boak at centre-half back. Got a high handball and had the handball while in mid-air. Over to Ollie Wines, who continues to run and push and then receives it inside forward 50 again. He's spent here, Ollie Wines. He needs to take the full 30 seconds, get some breath back, finish off this great play from the power. Breakneck speed at the moment, Port Adelaide. They've really lifted a gear. Ollie Wines to the near side, just squeezes it home. Well, Fremantle have had some opportunities to extend the lead, but uh, haven't taken them. Port Adelaide continue to sweat on their mistakes. And uh, they've taken full toll now. There's that uh, there is there. jumping handball Robbie you Gray. talked about. And there's Robbie Gray on the end of it. And Pittard is doing a power running. Looks a different player. Looks like he's put on a few kilos. He's had a good game today. Yeah, it was Robbie Gray at halfback. I thought Ollie Wines, I gave him credit for running the length of the ground. Jenna, but a great team play once again from the power. From the ball up, Fremantle need a response. Thanks, Robbie. Frio chant ringing Thanks, around Thanks, the main Thanks, stadium, Thanks, even Thanks, though Port Adelaide have kicked the last two. The crowd trying to inspire them. Corns hacks it forward, White full of run, takes them on. Speed, good strength, flick on Wingard. Schultz gets there, tries to go off the deck. Duffield jumps on it. Ebert wraps him up. Did he go to the ground and jump on it? Oh. Umpire says yes. Has Ebert got it in him? 55 out. Pokes it to the pocket. Schultz, three to beat. Well read by five. Johnson takes some time. Doesn't want to waste it to five. Putting themselves under incredible pressure here, Fremantle. They've got them blocked in. They don't want to kick the ball long to a contest, so they're trying to work it through hands. And yet the inner circle of uh, pressure is also extreme for Port at the moment. Port by nine. Yeah. The biggest lead has been 14. McFarlane in the spot. Oh, plays for 50. <laughs> got some crowd help to try and get it from the umpire. He's been on the spot on by Nick Foot the last couple under some pressure. Ryder Good grab. in front of Sandler's. No Loby, of course, if he just joined us. Late withdrawal. Ryder inside, even. And that is just a, a world class kick. Going to that sort of pressure, rebound was going to be a goal the other way, but hit the target. Wines tried the outside of the boot. And Darfield. Intent to run it through. Port Adelaide with the breeze in this turn though. Ibbotson, well, he didn't want to go. Had the chance. There was a gap there. And getting out of this congestion's been tough. Clark and Carlisle, and that'll do for Carlisle. They can reset. That's the difference between these two teams. On counter-attack, Port are prepared to turn and become play on mad and go at pace and put it to the, the Fremantle defenders to defend that whereas Fremantle there, very stationary Neither Ruckman can get a piece of it Fife does court drag down immediately, Walters likewise, Pierce gained some valuable metres but it's just out of play, free kick court Carlisle's ball well, I think it's good to get Walters up to ground, he's one of the best kicks in the game. And they need the ball in the hands of the blokes who can deliver at the moment. Mundy, Walters, there's not a lot of them that are safe at the present time. Hill's another. He's a little hurt, Carlisle. Yeah, I think he's get, just cramping up. Right. He's going to have to get this. Bombsh, he's going to have to bang it long just to get it out of the area. So he sits it up. Butchers down there. Pollock waiting for the crumb. Beautiful front and centre. Shrugs it. Got it away. Too long. Play on advantage. Johnson. Touch play on, horrible play on option. Sheridan makes it okay, runs half back, but he's got nowhere to go. 
Spur, Johnson, here comes the pressure. Short kick misses the target. Sutcliffe can't get there. This throws it up. Threw it up and the umpire was right on the spot. No. It was a push in the back the umpire said. Play on advantage. Subin. And they get the break. They were after Fremantle. Well, Subin run foot. down. Good attack. Ballantyne. Can't keep it in. Yeah, Subin desperate to get on his left. Didn't have the pace. Nobody presented. Great defence by Port Adelaide. It's just lifted a cog or two in the last 10 minutes. Ryder working to the front. Sandlin gets a clearance of sorts. Smothered. Hill. Havlich. One on one. Not quite. Tringo. Back into the line. That'll do. Clark got a touch on it. Took it out. Not a bad spot for a ball in here. And there is Alapate Carlisle getting some work done. Kingy, is a cramp or just a little more? No, just cramp, Blaine. He'll be fine. He was uh, tonguing for a bit of uh, oxygen there a couple of moments ago, but just a bit of, bit of cramp in the thighs. He won't be the only one. I think they need the next goal here, John. They wouldn't want this lead to get out to 16 points. Especially with how t that, on the back of how tight the game has been, it's so difficult. It's 90 it's points collectively. 16 points is a big break. Jonas does well. Schultz, well, he did that deliberately. That was spectacularly good. He had three dockers around him, and you can legally knock it out deliberately from that position. Yeah. Sandlin's front spot. Perfect palm. Hill. Kick under pressure, though. White. Dumped. Didn't dispose of it legally. Got away with it. Boak. Caught. It's hot right now. It's been a 30 degree day and it's getting warmer. Caught. Over it. Dead. That's the one for me that is that it's tough. It's the oh, wonderful that we was White. I think it was White or Polak who took three steps, then got tackled from behind. It was called play on. That's the one where the introduction of the new rule needs to be called for, for holding the ball. Not that one there. Pavlich forward. Uses his body. Got yeah. hands to it. Good second effort. Spurs kick touched. Polek. Oh, drives his way through traffic beautifully. Bangs it long. Race on. McFarlane, Robbie Gray. McFarlane gets there first. Oh, the kick was a horror. Straight to the back of Butcher. And he gets away with it. Parlo. Duffield. The Dockers are using a different ball to put. They got a bad ball. Because their kicking is just ridiculously bad for a top class side. Great attack, Sheridan to Fife. Spears the pass, Pavlich. Finally. Finally, they've hit a target inside forward 50. You spot on, Jimmy. Really finished the match almost with McFarlane butchering the ball in defence. Got another lucky break. And uh, the Dockers get a chance to get back, right back into this match. Deep breath. Get the heart rate down. Had some important ones over time. Matthew Pavlich. 313 games. Coming into today. It's already kicked one. 630 career goals. Settle in. We'll get another quarter and a bit of this quality coming. Well, there's one bloke out there right now. In fact, there's a couple out there right now who are staving off the ravages of rosteoporosis, Kingy, and uh, Matthew Pavlich is the primary one at the present time. He, he certainly <laughs> is, Jared. He's uh, he stood the test of time, hasn't he? He's been a wonderful finisher. That just shows the difference when their class players are getting the ball in the forward half. They look yeah. likely to score. Going at 46% by foot in the forward half of the ground is unacceptable for Fremantle. Neither team's jump with their sub yet either. So that's an option. Matt DeBoer for Fremantle and Angus Monfries. Not a bad sub to have for Port Adelaide. Didn't play any nap challenge games. Angus Monfries, of course. And for that measure, neither did Paddy Ryder. Fremantle hot. Barlow spears it. Pavlich tried to tie up with Hodge. Hodge attacked the ball. Corns. Broadbent. Was that 15? 
No, it wasn't. It was only one and a half moment strips one. <laughs> and that oh, was luckily for Polek. It's the grey. Good call from him. Yeah, Gee, that's a dangerous kick. And it might not come off. Oh, that was the Walters to play on. Walters go all the way. Oh, oh turn around. Super. He is just a brilliant kick, this bloke. Pollock had to turn around. He was watching Subin running with his back to the to the kicker. He kicks darts. Yeah, I know, but if he turned, he would have been able to, to get to get in the way. Don't worry about that. I'm not taking anything away from the kick, Jared, because it was a bullet. <laughs> no, was. I'm glad Subin turned around because he'd be knocked out if he didn't. <laughs> they would have had to use their sub. 15 seconds gone, yep. And you can hear a pin drop here. This is ultra important. This is for the lead back. And it's against the run of play. Two goals in the last two minutes. Just misses. That was huge. They're famous for the press. Can they keep it in? Can they get a repeat entry? Get another opportunity? They've owned the last six minutes for him, And they'll come home with a slight breeze. Sandlin's rider, Johnson. Sandlin's pushed right around. Just having a look at time on uh, so far during this game, the inside 50s are 15-8 in favour of Fremantle. Now, we've lauded the, the Port Adelaide Football Club for their run. But in actual fact, it's been Freo that have had more opportunity. They haven't capitalised. Both have kicked two goals, too, so far throughout the course of this day, late in quarters. But Fremantle running the game out quite well. And that's, that's a trend that will continue for the fourth quarter. So if it's tight, deep, Kingy, then Fremantle should look to take that advantage maybe late in this game. Broadbent backtracks for Gray's kick. They want to come to the open side. One minute 40 left. Honch. Didn't look 15 either. Trengo paid the mark. Move it on. Play on. You, mate. There's that dangerous kick, but this time it comes off. Ebert made the space in the middle. Broadbent's running for him. He goes longer. Corn sits under it. Crutch. Ooh. Oh, no. It's good call from the umpire. He controlled it. Straight to him. Thank you. It's good closing speed from Clancy Pierce. Just good footy all round. Corn stood his ground well. Broadbent. He can drive this long. He can kick a monster ball. He might size them up from there. Goes to the square. It is long. Butcher. And again, Spur. Brilliant grab. Drifting across the front. Monday. 45 seconds left. Will they roll the dice or just take the seconds off? I think they know. Move it on. Play on. Thanks, boys. Cameron. Thanks. Five nearly plucked it. Jonas. Almost the turnover. Five jumped on it. He was jumped on. Still 20 seconds left, still time enough. Walters rolls at Pavlich's direction. He can reset with 15 left. Time enough for a clearance. Port Adelaide by three. They led by four at quarter time, by two at half time. Ball knocked down. White. Tringo almost caught, just gets it away. Dangerous Schultz. Four seconds left. Port Adelaide get away with it. Three quarter time. The main stadium. And this is take no prisoner stuff. It has lived up to all expectations. Fourth versus fifth from last year. The two genuine premiership contenders that are the main rivals to the Hawks. And they're turning it on. Port Adelaide at the last change.